Hey, welcome back, Big Orange fans. Uh, as expected, Tennessee's in the playoffs. Right. Tennessee's on the road to Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. But today we're mainly just going to be talking about the entire football uh, brackets here mm -hmm. and some of the problems with it. And there's a bunch. A lot of issues down. I mean, this thing is, I've not really heard um, enough people talk about it. This thing, let's just say, man, it, it's, a, it's a joke. I mean, there's so many issues with it. I mean, who in the world come up with this thing? And who's on the committee? I mean, did they pull up people that just never watched football before? Because that's what it looked like to me. I mean, it's the whole thing's a joke. And there's so many issues with it. We're going to talk about, about some of the issues. Talk a bit about Tennessee, Ohio State, and the matchup and the future matchups and all that. Uh, and who should be in and who should be out. But, Tim, to me, right off the bat, I'm looking at this thing, uh, First of all, first issue I have with it, first round buys. You got Boise State, Arizona State as first round buys in this thing. Those two teams shouldn't even be in the playoff team. Shouldn't even be in. They're, they're probably not top 12 team, no. You're right. No, I mean, really, you, you want the top 12 teams in the country in, the, in this thing, okay? First of all, let me just say right off the bat, I can't stand Alabama. I am tickled to death that they are out. Yeah, I um, I started laughing when the SMU thing come up. Yeah, you know, I, I love my first thing. I just started laughing. Force laughing because I knew Bama was staying at the house. But Bama, South Carolina, no miss, is better than Arizona State, Boise State, SMU, Clemson, uh, Clemson Indiana. I mean, hell, South Carolina just beat Clemson. They're better than Indiana. Uh, and they're right on par with probably Penn State and Notre Dame. They may be better than those teams. Uh, I mean, come on. Now, let's let's try to get the best teams in the thing. And and it's a joke that two of the worst teams has first round by. Well, it is. Uh, that's where. And if they stay twelve teams, you're going to have four people get by. The question is, should they? change it to the top four seeds top, top which four seeds which should, they should do i understand the conferences went and negotiated this you know i mean that's just uh you've got to keep kind of everybody happy but it turns out to be a disaster right uh, i mean you know like i said i can't stand those other teams don't want them in no i'm this just easily could have been tennessee sitting at the house knowing that they was better than arizona state boise state smu and some of these yeah. other teams, Indiana. Yeah, I Come would on. not want to have to be the one to cut you down here if we'd been us if it'd been us on the outside looking yeah. in because I'd have to cut the rope right here That's on this broadcast. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, I know it's ridiculous, man. You would have went over the top. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously they're not really going on strength of schedule, and it, and honestly they've changed their their criteria from week to week to, to you know, it's like oh head to head, oh not not always head to head because let me look at this week, Clemson beat. SMU yesterday, yeah, and that's nice. SMU still ahead of them. I mean, it, it's just whenever they pick and choose their criteria. Yeah, I think that was the TV matchup. They didn't want SMU in Texas. Uh, yeah, I mean, Penn State beat nobody. Indiana beat nobody. Penn State's best win is Illinois, and where would they fit, fit, finish in the SEC? That was their best win, Illinois. Uh, they're in the bottom third in the conference. Yeah, they're probably tenth. I mean, like Florida's probably drill right yeah. now. Yeah, Florida drill them. Uh, uh, Essex, Missouri, you probably, probably drill them. Missouri, probably drill them. Missouri, Missouri, yeah. The only teams that were in Arkansas, Kentucky. only teams that might not beat them would be Kentucky. Auburn might not. Mississippi State might not. And those teams could. I mean, but anyway. But yeah. So Illinois, they, um, like I said, that was the marquee win for uh Indiana. Right. And that's not much of a marquee in my book. Right. I mean, Saban was on the, the broadcast today uh, talking about um, this issue of strength of schedule. Strength of schedule. And, and I, I agree with that. You know, uh, I mean, and you ask, uh, you know, Sarkeesian, he was talking about the other day how that in this conference, you, him and the Kirby was talking about how when you're playing in this conference, you got to play a good caliber team every week. And you can't, when you're playing two or three in a row, and you, and you still got to come up and get up for the next one. It, it, it's different. Yeah. It's different. And look, once again, I'm happy we don't have more SEC teams in it. 
right. first win. It gives us a better chance of winning it all. But I'm also not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you that uh, they didn't deserve to be in because we play the best football in the South Eastern Conference, whether you, I like these other teams or not. Now, one thing Saban did say that was just one of the dumbest things I've heard, um, he said the way to fix this, is the opposite of what we've been saying for the whole for last year. We've been arguing with people left and right. He's saying we need to go ten games. Everybody knows you never go full retard. Now, how in the world is that going to fix things? We're going to have more losses because our losses are not valued. They're just like, oh well, we got to put this two loss team over this three loss team. I mean, they don't want to. They'll pick and choose. Well, we move this guy ahead, this team ahead, this team ahead. Okay, fine. But you move these teams right here. Four, five, six, seven, down below. I mean, I you thought know, I ignored thought it. So seven things. I thought mm -hmm. saving was smarter than that, but uh, uh, but uh, that that's dumb because all that's going to do is end up putting one or two SEC teams. You'd have the and conference never, champion and the uh, runner-up in. You might get a third. You're never going to get four or five teams in yeah. doing that. I mean, you what you need to do is stick to eight, and then play two out of conference games. Yeah, play that against Power Four. Right, two out of conference, power four. That way, you make Indiana, Boise State, SMU, people like that, Clemson, play somebody other than somebody beating up the easy teams in their conference. Yeah. If they're playing an SEC team, now if they beat the SEC teams, then they've earned it. You know, I mean, but let's make let's make make these people earn these slots. You know, I mean, because next year if they don't fix this, it could very well be Tennessee on the outside looking in. Well, this is bad, really, the way they've done it this year. It's bad for the long-term health of college football because you've seen it for like two to three weeks when people realize this committee uh, put no true emphasis on strength of schedule. Right. Everyone's talking about four cupcakes and let's hope you get a good conference schedule. Yeah. Um, we don't want college football to go away from good marquee matchups right. out of conference exactly. you want more of them, not less and this committee has put a uh, knife up to the throat of common sense and is going to force teams to schedule cupcakes exactly it's not good for college football it's bad i mean you don't want to see more tennessee versus utc you want to see tennessee versus you know I, Indiana, maybe, or Penn State, or somebody that's a decent, you know, uh, or Notre Dame. You want to see those matchups, not more of the other. And that this is going to force teams to want to schedule. I mean, look at Indiana, for instance. They eliminated Louisville off their schedule, which would have been the second best team on their schedule. Eliminated the first. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're, you're right. I forgot uh, about Ohio State. But. They took the second best team off their schedule. Yeah, they bought out of that game. Bought out. Of they it. was worried that they, their, their schedule was too tough. They were worried that the schedule was too tough, so they bought right. out of the little. And what, what did they get? They get rewarded, rewarded for it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not good. Um, now let's look at Tennessee's path, Tim, and that's another issue I have with this. Um, we have, as the nine seed, the hardest path in the tournament. Yes. I mean, we got to go right. plus. to Ohio State. The closest team is probably Ohio State. But since it's at Ohio State, ours is tougher. Yeah, we'll be a touchdown uh, dog in that game. Um, we got to play Ohio State. We got to play Oregon after that. In the Rose Bowl. Yeah. If things continue, if there's no upsets, in the bottom half of the bracket, we would play, end up playing Texas. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and then probably most likely Georgia if Carson in, in the tells it. Right. I mean, you start looking at some of the other paths. Let's look at Boise State, for instance. They got to play the winner of SMU Penn State. You know, and that's much easier. I mean, Texas has got Clemson and, and Arizona State. Georgia's got the winner of Indiana, Texas. I mean, uh, Notre Dame. So, I mean, we got we got a tough road. Georgia has a walkthrough if Carson Beck is healthy. Yeah, they got played the winner of Indiana, Notre Dame, and then the winner of the Penn State, SMU, Boise State bracket. I mean, I mean, about as easy as a path as could possibly be as far as in today's college football. 
you know. Yeah, I mean, that, but Penn State should be the one to make it. And Penn State, as soon as they find out that Georgia's a good football team, they're going to just automatically lose. And because of what Penn State does. <laughs> Gold teeth drink them. Yeah. I mean, Penn State can beat you as long as you're not top five, top ten team in the country. Then you're like, okay, we're, we're lost. I mean, that, they ought to just go ahead and put Georgia in if they played uh, Penn State at that level, but, you know. But yeah, yeah. but that, that bottom, uh, these brackets are not anywhere close to uh, even. No. Um, you got top seed Oregon with the for the roughest path. You know, it shouldn't be that way. They they really need to to a do away with the conference. Uh, automatic automatic man, yeah. go go with a four. Right. And re reseed after the first round. Yeah. And I'm not saying totally reseed. I'm just saying is, you know, let's say Ohio State being the eighth seed or whatever, you know, or let's say the twelfth seed, um, uh, Clemson was to win. Right. They need to be playing Oregon. Right. Because of the bottom seed. Right. I agree. Um, I agree. And you know something else to look at too briefly. If Tennessee can beat Ohio State and make it to uh, the game against Oregon, we gotta go across across country to California. Which we're, you had also the Peach Bowl was available in Georgia. You had the Fiesta Bowl in Arizona, and you had the Sugar Bowl in uh, New Orleans possibilities. So we get the worst possible place we're going to have to fly cross country, our fans is, to go to, to Rose Bowl. Yeah, which would be a historic side. I mean, it would be a it great trip. Be. But Oregon, where were they like for it to be? Rose Bowl. Oh, yeah. They, yeah well, they got the choice. Yeah. That's what they chose. Right. Um, our path, if we were to win it all, no one's going to be able to say we did not deserve it because we're going to be I don't Ohio wanna, State, you know, Oregon, Texas, Georgia, most likely. I don't want to sound like whining because we're in the playoff. All we got to do is win, you know. But it'd been nice to have a, 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 a better path, you know. Well, there's a lot of things to be better off on yeah. this right here. A lot of teams are whining. I'd love to play one of them really tough top seeds like Boise State. I mean, I really like to play one of them Arizona State or SMU or Penn State. I'd, I'd much rather play Penn State than Ohio State. I mean, uh, you know, or or Indiana. I'd rather play Indiana. I'd rather play Notre Dame because Notre Dame ain't beat anybody this year and uh, he lost to Northern Illinois. Uh, the only team I might not prefer to play more than Ohio State might be Texas. Right. And honestly, I'm not sure about that. I right. think I'd probably just as soon as uh, go out and play Texas as I would to go north into the cold exactly. in three weeks right. and play Ohio State. I hope we ain't got s- snow on the ground or something during that game. That would be crazy. But anyway. So we need to put our white uniform so it can't say this. Yeah. Storm, storm yeah. Trooper. Storm Trooper, baby. <laughs> yeah. On defense. And then we can switch the orange on offense. That way we can throw it to our... Uh, Nico can see our wide receivers running across the middle. Uh, but uh, what else you got, Tim, on this? Uh, well, I mean, just to reiterate one thing, I mean, the, the fan bases of Bama, South Carolina, uh, Ole Miss, uh, I'd like to say, ha, 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 you didn't make it in. Right. Uh, and I will also say uh, you got the shaft, so put some pressure on Sankey and other people. Yeah, be loud, uh, because, uh, I mean, I've learned, you know. The noisy wheel gets the grief. It does, absolutely. Run your mouth, complain. Uh, somebody's got to do it, and don't shut up about it until it's fixed, because it very well could be Tennessee next year. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? Oh, absolutely. Uh, watch for our next video. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, basketball, and, uh, and then we'll be doing a breakdown at some point here of Ohio State and let you know what we think about the matchup there. I think there's, it, there is some interesting matchups there. Oh, absolutely. I, I really look forward to that breaking that game down. Yeah. So go big orange. Go Vols.